I have a link in the description where you can try it out and see it for yourself what you can do or not with this OBS version. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and here is my rambling of this version of OBS. So Goodbye. this is the OBS version for the Mac. This is a work in progress build 0.2.4. You don't have to listen to me, you can just download it. I have a link in the description where you can download it and try it for yourself. So this looks a lot like the Windows version as you guys can see here my scenes and here's my sources. So let's just right get into it. So let me add a scene and I'm, I'll just call it desktop and show you how that works. And I can add a source and here's display capture. So you will not get any edits in as of this version. The, the developer said that he will implement it on the next version of work in progress built of OBS uh, for the Mac. So this is all you can do. This version is actually functional so you can actually start streaming and start recording uh, as of right now. So that's always cool. And if I wanna add a audio, I can go here and then add put core audio input capture and the audio should work. And here's the volume that you wanna select, okay. So that's how you do that. Okay, so let's add another scene for webcam. So I can't do any PIP or any of the cool stuff because there is no edit scene. So this is all I can do. So here's the webcam and I can add the webcam source, which is the video capture device. So I'm gonna cover it up and here's a video capture device. And let's see how that works. As you guys can see, I'm moving my finger and you can see that I'm moving my finger. So that's pretty cool. So let's go into the settings and show you what you can change and some of the cool stuff. So let's go to the settings. So here it is, general. You can choose between two different languages. That's pro probably Chinese or Japanese and English. And here's stream and you can put your stream key for Twitch and YouTube and all the major platform for streaming. Here's output, you can actually do video recording and I have it set to my uh, user directory, you can change that, I'll just change that to desktop just because that's a little bit easier. And here's my bitrate. The optimal bitrate for YouTube is 5000, that's for 720p and 8000 for 1080p. And here's audio, I can change the kilohertz from 48 to 22. And here's video, it uses OpenGL, and I can set my resolution to whatever I want. And here's my scale resolution. So here's my base resolution, which I can set to 1280 by 800, which is the screen of this MacBook Pro. And I can do the scaling to 1280 by 720p, which is a very popular resolution for YouTube and major stuff right now. And here's my FPS and I'll set it to 30. If you're playing a FPS, it's recommended that you set to 60. So anyway, let's click OK. So right now I'm just gonna do a test recording and then I'll play it over to show it to you guys how that works. So I'm gonna click Start Recording and I'm gonna change the scene and show you how that is. So I'm gonna click Start Recording. So here's my screen and I'm gonna change the scene to Webcam. And there you go. Now I'm going to click stop recording. So here's my screen and I'm going to change the scene to webcam. Now I'm going to click now I'm going to play this over again when I'm editing this video. So that is pretty much the OBS version for the Mac, how it is and how to use it as of right now. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I'll have a lot more great video coming out soon and Peace out.